everyone, here's Book Club Number 82. Who recognized this line? Caps, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents cap. Or this line, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. The title of tonight's book is Caps for Sale by author Esper Slobankina. This is a timeless classic picture book that I'm sure many patients remember from when they were kids. It is a really great read aloud for preschoolers and kindergartners. It's also a great book for early readers because it has a simple it has simple words but a great but a great plot. This is the story about a peddler and a bunch of mischievous monkeys. The peddler walks around selling caps from a very tall stack on his head. One morning, he wasn't able to sell caps, so he walked into the countryside, sat under a tree, checked that all the caps were there, and fell asleep. When he woke up, the caps were gone, and guess what? The tree was full of monkeys wearing the caps. The peddler tries to outsmart the monkeys to get the caps back. This book tells a really charming and humorous story that kids will remember forever. I especially love the mischievous copycat monkeys, and I love how how they take all the man's caps and how they copy him when he's trying to get the caps back. I also love how he ends up getting his caps back. This book is especially great for young kids because um, kids can notice colors, identify patterns, count, and sort the caps. My mom also says it's great for kids to practice comprehension skills such as retelling, predicting, and learning parts of stories, such as setting problems and solutions. Most importantly, the ECBC library has to have all of the classics, like Streganona, Alexandra and the Terrible, Horrible, No Get Good, Very Bad Day, Corduroy, Tiki Tiki Tembo, and definitely Caps for Sale. It's a must-have a must, must classic. Please donate this book for, um, for patients at Chalk Hospital.